Nazigi the Stubborn Boy. Once upon a time, in a small village in the west of Africa, there lived a boy called Nazigi. He lived with his parents and two siblings, a sister named June and a brother, Jumbo. He also had a favorite pet, Nakathi. The parents loved him so much and always took care of him and his siblings very well. But since he was the youngest, Nazigi grew up as a pampered child and gained more attention and love from his family. Yet he grew up as a mischievous and stubborn boy who always played tricks on others and did not listen to anyone's warnings. Their village was surrounded by a thicket and a large river passed through it. Their home was at the center of the village, something that Nazigi was happy about because he could access any part of the thicket. The river was always known to be a dangerous place to go, especially for children like Nazigi. It had dangerous animals like hippos, crocodiles, and venomous snakes. In fact, unless you had a reason to go there, you were not allowed to be anywhere near it. Even some of the animals would sometimes leave the river and come to the mainland. Nazigi was aware of all those dangers and warnings. However, to him, life had to be enjoyed and that involved exploring places. One day, he left home secretly to go and fish in the river. He took his fishing hook and bait. Together with his dog, Nakathi, he set for the remotest part of the river away from the homes. He didn't want anyone to bother him and spoil his mission. To him, that was being an adventurer. He could not understand why everyone, including adults like his parents, feared a river like that. At only nine years, he felt that once you have a weapon and such pets like a dog, then you should be bold enough to face even the deadliest creatures. On his way, he met several kids of his age going to school. Some of them were asking him, Nazigi, why are you not headed to school? And where are you going to? He replied, how is that your business? And then proceeded to walk. He even tried to persuade some of the weak kids to join him. He came across his friend Jim and said, Jim, come with me and I'll show you something nice. Jim knew him and how cunning he was. And so he refused the offer. Can't you see I'm going to school? He replied. I am not going anywhere with you. All these times, his dog, Nakathi, was loyally following him. He came across several other people who asked him the same question, and he gave the same answer. Finally, he arrived at his destination. He had come to a very quiet spot with the waters flowing calmly. Near the spot was a cave, and he... He checked inside to see what was there, but he couldn't see anything since it was very dark. He decided to sit down and set his fishing tools for the job. What Nazigi didn't know was that he was in for great trouble. Inside the cave, there was a puff adder snake that had coiled itself and was having a good time in there. As he made a courageous move to throw the fishing hook into the river, he noticed a nicely shaped rock inside the water. He decided to go over and step on it while fishing. Meanwhile, at home, information had reached the parents that Nazigi was going an opposite direction from his school. Even June and Jumbo had been informed by other kids at school that their brother was up to something wrong. They immediately rushed home to inform the parents who they found were also troubled by that issue. A search to find him has to begin, said their father. That boy is so cheeky and might get into trouble, he continued. 
They began the search by going to the school to get more information from the kids who had met Nazigi on their way to school. At the river, Nazigi had made the move to step on the rock. His dog was yet to prove loyal to him. What he thought to be a rock was instead a crocodile which had come to bask in the sun by the riverbank and had formed a stone-like structure by its back. As soon as he had stood on the rock, the crocodile made a swift move inside the water, leaving Nazigi shouting loudly and crying for help as he fell down. His half-body was in the water while the other half touched the riverbank. The dog quickly rushed to its friend's rescue and barked fiercely to scare the crocodile away, which it managed to do as the reptile gave in to fear and crawled further into the deep waters. Nakathi then pulled Nazigi out fully to the riverbank by his shirt's collar. However, that was not all for the duo. The noise and commotion outside the cave had woken up the puff adder, which had now crawled outside. So immediately, Nazigi was offshore fully. The snake billowed at him and coiled itself around him. The dog was very scared at the sudden attack that it took off instantly and began barking loudly towards the village. Happily, while it was on its way home barking, it met Nazigi's parents and other people looking for him. Everyone was shocked at the dog's behavior, but there was no time to waste. The dog made a quick turn and began running towards where it had come from. By now, the people knew it had a message to deliver and began following its trail. They ran so fast that some almost overtook the dog. On reaching the river spot, they found Nazigi lying on the ground. The puff adder had let go of him and he was resting nearby, probably waiting to gulp him alive later. The father instantly pierced it with a spear and killed it. Then they carried Nazigi home to the village doctor who treated him. Afterwards, Nazigi apologized to his family and all the villagers for being stubborn and not following the given directions and warnings. He had endangered the lives of many by his actions. He promised never to repeat that mistake again and acknowledged that he had learned his lesson. Everyone was happy about Nakathi's loyalty to its friend and the help it offered him. It was given the title of Village Chief Dog, with some people calling it the loyal dog to the stubborn boy. From that day onwards, Nazigi and Nakathi became even greater friends, and Nazigi always respected any rules given.